أعزائي المشاهدين كما عودناكم في برنامجكم الأسبوعي برنامج إماراتي يعني نستضيف لكم خيرة من دولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة ولهذا الأسبوع نستضيف السيد خسرو المدير التنفيذي لشركة كي كابيتال ريال استيت في إمارات دبي جود أفترنون مستر خسرو جود أفترنون هاو يو الحمد لله وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله 16 years of experience in United Arab Emirates let yes. us to know more about you Mr. Khosro please It's, uh, it's been a journey. I came here in 2007 mm -hmm. and uh, got into the real estate business. Initially worked for a developer and then about six, eight months after that journey uh, got into the brokerage business and uh, started uh, my career as a real estate broker in Dubai and now it's been 16 years. MashaAllah. Mr. Khosrow, from 2007, uh, it was, you know, at the time, you come I think in the right time, it was a world crisis, financial world crisis, 2007, 8, 9, if you remember. Yes. Because the market dropped down. Yes. You had, I think, or you had the right experience on the right time from 2007 till 10 or 9. After the market, it started to grow fast. Yes. How it was? How, what the difficulty you find at that time? Did you think to go back or to go out of UAE that time? Yeah, so uh, 2007 when I arrived, uh, Dubai was booming and uh, there was a lot of activity that was happening. Most of uh, Dubai that we see today was very much under construction. Right. Uh, after that, uh, what we saw was uh, the 2008 world crisis uh, where the Lehman Brothers collapse happened. And uh, obviously, uh, shortly after, Dubai was also affected. Um, it was a very critical time. I think uh, the best learning comes from hardships. And uh, I think we realized uh, what not to do, uh, how to maintain, uh, how to protect customers, how to manage uh, those situations. And then going forward, uh, very quickly, as Dubai does, Dubai recovered. I think it was one of the fastest countries to recover from the crisis. Right. And uh, we went through another boom period. And uh, normally what we've learned from that is when there's a downfall in the market, uh, it's usually uh, a good time for you to be bullish and take advantage of uh, the opportunities that come to you. Call you the man of experience in real estate <laughs> in Dubai after 16. Really, it is uh, not easy to have a strong experience in United Arab Emirates what, as what we see in the market because we have more than 200 nationality, we have yes. more than 100 cultures. How you deal with everyone, you know, and some of them they are only maybe you didn't see them just by uh, AI or some Zoom meetings and they will buy. How you deal all that? So a lot of the business that we do is very personal. So we're a people first company. Uh, we focus very much on the relationships that we make with our clients. Uh, generally speaking, uh, the challenge I think today is that there is a lot of entrants into the market that are not familiar with uh, a lot of the processes, um, the challenges in uh, the business as the business grows, as Dubai grows, is to keep up with uh, some of the projects that are coming up. Um, an understanding for the customer, which is the right project, what suits them, what would be beneficial for them in the future. Uh, overall, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, alhamdulillah. The, Dubai has been very good for many, many people over the years. Uh, those that invested early are reaping the benefits of it. And I think uh, for many, many years to come, uh, whatever uh, with the vision that every the, the royal family has and uh, His Highness has, I think we will continue to grow uh, in the right direction. From my employee to employer, yes. after 13 years. Yes. Let us know more about the change it's happened to in your life also. So, uh, you know, as, a, as an employee for many, many years, I think you go through all the challenges and you learn through uh, doing uh, all the activities of uh, the business, but you're very focused on your personal goals. Uh, once you switch roles and you become an employer, you kind of create your own little family, right? So you have to be responsible for the efforts that your team puts in, everything else that goes along with that. Um, operationally, you become a lot more adverse and you uh, look after 
uh, many other elements that you probably wouldn't look at as an employee. How you take the, we can say, decision to start key capital to the real estate? Yeah, so uh, look, I think it's, uh, I always had it in me. I always wanted to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but for many years, for a variety of reasons, whether it's experience, whether it was financial conditions, uh, they kind of restricted me. Uh, also, I think sometimes you need to push right. a little bit to take the next step. And uh, eventually, I decided that uh, I wanted to go out and create a company. Again, uh, what, where we try to be different is we're a boutique setup. So we work very, very closely with the clients that we have. Uh, we offer very in-depth advice, more consultation-like service versus just being a sales agency mm -hmm. and we look after portfolios so our our goal is to manage large investors large investment portfolios and be able to provide real guidance and real advisory on what are uh, the right projects to invest in in dubai and you know manage that whole life cycle for the customer beyond the sale always when i meet or when i do the interview the companies uh, or the owners they build the companies they build the name then they show they are self in the market. Sure. But you take the different way. You show yourself in the market, you have your own data, and then you start your own company. Yes. It was not late for you? I don't think there's ever a, a, a late time, rather. Steps. I think uh, everything is step by step. Right. And uh, for us, inshallah, uh, we've started, and uh, we're on, a, on our journey. And uh, hopefully, inshallah, it's good for us, and it's good for everybody that's involved with us, that trusts us. Inshallah. As a business advisor and real estate experience more than 16 years, we would like to know from you how you see the real estate in United Arab Emirates. Yeah, so we've had a boom period over the last couple of years. We believe that the market will continue uh, to keep going up. Uh, the reason for that is surely the volume of people that are now choosing the UAE uh, as a home. I, b back in the day, I think it used to be that they would look at it from a second home perspective or as an investment perspective. But now we're seeing that uh, a lot of the people that are buying assets here right. are actually looking to move to Dubai. Uh, we know that from the crowded streets and the traffic. And um, if you look at it from an anal uh, more analysis sort of uh, setup, you'll see that all the schools, the waiting lists are getting longer. Um, you know, medical services have been improving. More hospitals are growing. So a lot of community services are growing. And uh, we know that the interest of uh, everybody right now is towards Dubai because they see that uh, as an investment product or as an end user product, uh, it's the right place to call home. Also the safety and security which help the people also to invest and to live in this country, the schools as you mentioned, uh, we get a big support from our visionary leaders and that's it's helped the market to grow fast. But all everyone they has their own uh, community, we can say, or their own uh, vision to buy a villa or house or studios. Everyone has small different details. How you take care about that all? Yeah, so like I, like I said earlier, so it comes down to each client, their personal needs, understanding those needs, understanding what it is that they're after, and then being able to pair that up with the right sort of product. Uh, luckily for us, there is a lot of variety in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, we have options for different people with different budgets, different sort of lifestyles, different communities. And like you mentioned, safety, security being paramount for most people. Uh, this is, I would believe, one of the most safest cities in the world. And uh, with the level of hospitality that we have, it's very easy uh, for people to migrate and call it home. Today we have more than 10,000 real estate company. We have more than 18 agency. We would like to know about how you keep yourself updated in the top always uh, with the big challenge which we have in the market and why the people they are select your company or select you exactly so uh, look uh, of course it's competitive and any good market uh, there will always be players that will enter the market and look for opportunities to grow in that market we are no different uh, having said that i think what makes us different as a company is our focus on our customers our focus on their needs our focus on being transparent our focus on ensuring that we are delivering beyond the sale. So we're with them through the journey much after they've purchased a property with us. And I think a lot of the business that we get is through word of mouth, through referrals. Um, and they're, they're mostly uh, people that are looking for a high level of consultation and understanding of the marketplace before they enter the marketplace. And we're happy to give them the time. How you 
training your employees and also how you keep them updated always with the new, um, you know, as a real estate or developers or properties, there is everyday new things in the yes. markets. How so, do you keep them always updated? So our channel partners are, are very kind in the sense that uh, we have good relationships with them. They constantly visit us at the office. We would go to the developer office. We keep updated on all the new projects that are coming out. Uh, we do training sessions frequently uh, to understand the landscape, uh, where the markets are going. Knowledge is essentially power. So if we know what's happening before it actually comes out, we then get to educate our customers about it beforehand and take a position into that project uh, much before most of the other players in the market. So yeah. our relationships help. Can you name for us as some developers you love to work with them? Yes, of course. Uh, Imar, uh, being number one of the city, mm -hmm. uh, is definitely uh, something that we're very proud to be channel partners with. Uh, but we n normally tend to work with the top five, seven developers, whether it's Imar, Miras, Nikhil, um, Dubai Properties, Ellington. And we also work with a host of private developers that are reputable. Uh, you know, it, it really comes down to the customer, what the customer is looking for. So our job is to filter out from the market the best opportunities from the customer mm -hmm. and then position those. Can you help some customer to manage their properties if they need, if they are not in the yes. United Arab Emirates? That's How do you support them? Do you have any like sister company as a technical or to serve that? Right. So we do have property management as an option. Uh, we do service that already mm -hmm. uh, and we manage portfolios for people. So essentially from the time that they are looking to invest in an asset to the time that they've bought it, it's if it was under construction, uh, through that construction process, and then once it's ready, whether they're looking to uh, resell it or they're looking to manage it for rental, we do that whole process for them. So we're a full service company. And holiday homes? Uh, we have partners. We don't do holiday homes directly, but we do have partnerships in the market mm -hmm. where uh, we would liaise that deal for the customer. What the next? future plan after two and a half years of, of uh, company started? So right now we're still uh, in that phase where we're growing the company. We're trying to become a formidable force in this market and uh, grow the team, grow uh, you know the relationships as much as possible. The plan is to uh, eventually get into development and produce our own projects. Inshallah, we wish you all, all the best, inshallah. inshallah. To be always uh, in the top, we need to market uh, our company. How you market yourself? Uh, we tend to follow, like I said, uh, through service. Our, our general way of working is by providing good service. We always use uh, the standard channels, Facebook, social media, uh, to promote ourselves in an online marketplace. But we find that a lot of the business that we, uh, we tend to earn is through referrals, through a vast network of uh, brokers that we have and our channel partners which are global. So one of the things that I think we're doing different is that we're not just working locally, we are working internationally and we have partners internationally that also refer business to us. From your experience today, if I ask you about advice for the new investor, what you will advise them who are planning to come to United Arab Emirates to invest? I would tell them that uh, they need to maybe talk to us or talk to somebody uh, where they're comfortable, they understand uh, that they have the right partner locally available mm -hmm. who can guide them, who understands their needs and understands their finances and is able to create a program for them that would be suitable to them. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, he mentioned in my vision book, we have always to be on the top. Yes. Uh, the Marat program always choose the top companies in real estate or in other fields. We would like to uh, know also what the secret key you have it to keep your uh, company and your team and yourself always in the market and you started to be on the top always? Uh, we, you know, for me, it's, it's my people, right? So everybody that we hire, we go through an extensive training procedure. Uh, we try to instill uh, good ethics, good morals in everybody that we have working here and then fo follow that up with uh, good knowledge of what the market is, where it is and where it's going. And uh, like you mentioned, uh, Dubai is always leaning towards the top. Right. So, uh, you know, this, the goals are set high for the city and hence we set goals high for ourselves as well. Who's your role models? Who's your backbone? Who support you always? And what message you say today for these people who are always push you to grow? I think, uh, so I was, uh, I have a single parent. My father passed when I was very young. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Allah And um, my, um, my mother, I think, is my biggest inspiration because I've seen her as a very strong lady. Uh, she's raised two, two sons. 
Uh, very early in my life, uh, I was I'm born Pakistani, uh, but we moved to uh, Canada, and I was raised there before I came to Dubai. So I always tell everybody I was born Pakistani, I was bred in Canada, but I was fortified in the UAE. So I think uh, the UAE has made me, but uh, really uh, it's through good guidance, uh, you know, the fear of God and the understanding of uh, what this city has and what it can offer to people. If I ask you about 200 nationality in Dubai, what do you would say today? Uh, How we is, live together, how we support each other. It's, it's a beautiful place. So, you know, uh, just very quickly comparing it to Canada. Canada is also very diverse. Uh, but I always tell people here uh, that you don't feel that you see all the nationalities. Um, because Dubai is relatively a smaller city, I feel like our interaction with everybody is very active. You actually get to know other cultures. Uh, you know, I, I'm a foodie, so I enjoy uh, all the cultural food that I get to try from everywhere. And it's really, truly a, a nice melting pot of uh, people coming together. Alhamdulillah, we say always thanks to Allah what He gives for us in this country from the safety and security which help us to invest and to grow and to live in peaceful. And we know they're our visionary leaders. Yes. Today, from you and from your company, what you will say for the UAE government and leaders for their support and for this country? I, I think we're blessed. I think we're blessed to have that sort of leadership. I believe uh, the foresight that they have and you know it, it's, I think it's, it's an inspiration to all of us uh, whether we're in this business or in just people in general that live in the city uh, compared to where we've come from. I think it, it's truly inspiring to see leadership that executes, leadership that is always thinking for the benefit of its people, leadership that is always moving forward and has created such high standards that uh, as residents of the city, we're forced to kind of follow and uh, believe in what they believe and we want to be the best just like they want to be the best. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much for your time to be with the Emirati program. We wish for you all the best, Inshallah. And thank you for the key capital properties. We wish for you all the best and Inshallah more success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.